Good morning, everybody. Uh, this video today that I'm going to show you, we're going to discuss how to dismount the tire. Um, the tire I have here is off the 750 Vulcan. Two things we want to remember before we even get started um, is to make sure that you remove all the wheel weights which are already that may be on the tire because depending on the tire machine, you can do damage to the uh, tire, the, the bead. In the installation apparatus so we want to make sure that we take all these little weights off and we want to let the air out before we get started so we're going to take our valve we're going to remove our valves core which is right down in here with this little device we're going to thread this in there and we're going to basically let all the air out Depending on the motorcycle wheels, some of these valve cores can be quite a challenge. Um, it's not like an automobile where you um, have a lot more room, but you want to remove the valve core right there. Okay, the next thing that we're going to want to do is to actually break the bead down on the wheel. And we're going to use this apparatus down below, as you'll see. And we're going to place our tire on here, up against this block. And this shovel portion is what's going to break our bead. On the front of the machine, there's three pedals. And when we push this right pedal, it will cause this shovel to move in and break the bead. So let's see how well we do here. I don't have a flat place for setting our camera up, so we're doing the best we can with what we've got. Okay, in the bottom of the screen you can see your shovel. I'm going to step on this pedal and it'll knock the tire off the bead. We want to do that to both sides of the wheel. doesn't hurt to hit it in a couple spots. It should Once it comes off the bead, you can push down on it, no problem. Okay, next thing we're going to do is put this back on the machine, and we're going to use these rim clamps to grab up inside of the rim. Press the center button and the clamps will close in. We're going to check underneath, make sure we got the tire grab, there's a good grab hold on the tire. I left a couple wheel weights on here, so we'll pop them off real quick. Next step is to remove the tire from the wheel. We don't ever want to do this unless we lubricate the bead with some sort of lubricant. Most of the times the tire beads get damaged, they get damaged because they weren't lubricated. Once we got that all sprayed up, we're going to bring our arm over and we're going to set this down on the wheel. I'll, I'll move the camera over to show you. <clears throat> we want to set this guy up like so. Okay, now you can adjust this 
by using this knob, you can adjust where this arm sits against the wheel. We don't want it quite touching the wheel. We want just a little gap in between there. Because ultimately, this apparatus can damage our customer's wheel. We don't want that to happen. So by leaving that little space, it gives us a little bit of wiggle room. Okay, the next move to actually take the bead of the tire and pull it up over this apparatus. So we're gonna use our, our tire spoon, go down in with this hooked end, grab the bead, and pull it up over this portion that I call the duck bill. Now, you make this a lot easier on yourself if you push down on the far side of the tire when you do this. Just pull it up over. You're above the apparatus here, you're below the apparatus here. Now push on the far left pedal and it should take care of itself from there. Goes along and pulls the bead off real nice and easy. Now to get the other side of the tire off, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take our spoon, go down in, grab the bead, pull it up over the apparatus. in the same manner and press down on the press down on the far left pedal and our tire is off just that easy that's all it really is to removing a tire and thanks for watching